Well, hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial for this little bonnet that I made for my granddaughter, Kate. We are doing one of those little newborn photo shoots with her. And so um, Elizabeth wanted a little beautiful crocheted bonnet to be able to um, have her wear. And so I just, came up with this pattern. I really love, you'll be surprised. This is single crochet. <laughs> this is slip stitch, single crochet, and some yarn over slip stitch. So, and it's, it's much easier to make than you think. The yarn I'm using, my favorite, Bernat Softy Cotton. It's a 60-40, really soft, but yet washable. And um, I like that it has a little bit of acrylic in it, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Uh, a G hook, four millimeter. And you just need one of these. You'll have plenty left over too. I think you probably could make two, possibly three. And I'll tell you how to make them even bigger for a little bit bigger baby. So the first thing that we need to do is start with that ribbing. This is the ribbing. Right here we're going to start with that let's chain five so this is just slip stitch where i'm just working underneath that top loop kind of pull it back so that we we keep it nice and loose and we'll work four Now chain one and turn and pay attention to the way that you're turning it so that you turn it the same way every time. I tend to turn it like I'm turning a page in a book. And look down at your Vs. This is our turning chain V. This is the first stitch. I'm going to go into the back loop here. Pull up and pull through. So now keep in mind, we'll just always be working four back loop slip stitches. And this one sometimes can get buried down in there. Keep them loose. Chain one and turn. And you're going to go and tell for this newborn size, you need 11 and a half inches. So here is 11 inches. It's kind of roughly, I mean, 11 and a half. But I went and I counted. So if you finish and your starting tail is down here at the bottom, so you've got it laid out this way, I have 42 of what I consider these rows. I know they actually are two, but if it's easy to count this, just the Vs that are facing you, there's 42. Um, so if you're making it larger, just make sure it's an even number of rows because now we're going to work this next row and you want to have 42 single crochets. So, I'm going to work my first one right down in here at the end of this row. And then it's kind of like I'm skipping a row and I'm going to work the next single crochet underneath this loop that's just to the right of that set of V's. So I'll skip that next loop, insert over here. So it's one single crochet, technically between every two rows. So if you can just insert your hook just to the right of that next set of Vs, I think you'll be happy with the neater, the neat looking appearance that we're trying to go for here. Anyway, even number of single crochets is the goal. 
that will affect our next stitch, our next row of single crochets. We want it to always be an even number. So I have 42 single crochets worked across there. And one thing I was going to say, this measurement represents, I measured um, little baby Kate from about the little bit below the bottom of her ear up across her head and to underneath her other ear. So this one just is going to tuck just right underneath her chin. So if you are wondering how I measured, chain one and turn. Okay, so this is what I did. This is what the stitch is. I'm working alternating front loop, single crochet. So put your hook right up underneath that front loop on the first stitch and then back loop, single crochet. front loop and back loop. So the reason why you wanted a even number is so that you just start every row with the front loop. It will make a difference if you did odd. Um, I mean, it's totally fine, but I'm just saying for this pattern specifically, it's like an even mixed loop. And if you do an odd mixed loop, it turns out just slightly differently. So my last stitch will be in the back loop. Now we chain one and turn and start every row with the front loop and then the back loop. Okay, so you will work this until the entire height measures five inches. And by height, I mean, I guess, or, or width. <laughs> We're going five inches. So I have up. 18 rows here and that's approximately five inches high, maybe just a touch, you know, shy, but pretty much. You want it five inches of width. So now all we need to do, first of all, is did you see how I folded it in half, matching the ribbing? We are going to seam up this side. So I already chained one and you just reach your hook under uh, actually i'm going to do the insides here just under one loop of each side is fine this will be turned inside out so but you don't want it too bulky so just do one of each we have this seamed up up the back we're done here and go ahead and we'll we will weave this end in when we're finished okay and also the hat will be turned inside out when we're finished too okay so now you're going to come down to this front corner here let's Place our yarn over our hook and pull up a loop. Chain one, kind of leave yourself a tail, we'll weave that in later. Chain one and then single crochet into that stitch right there. Okay, and let's single crochet into each loop here. So we'll work four. Now, going forward, we are going to work a single crochet every other row. So 
there's one, skip a row, work into the next row. You're kind of like gathering together the bottom of this half. So skip a row, work into the next. Let me get that. I was kind of crocheting over this tail, which I can do, but I like weaving it in for extra security. So I got it a little bit, but okay. So I am, and I'm keeping it really tight because the point is to gather in. This is the back of the hat, the little neck area. Deep. Oh, it looks like I will be skipping two rows if I go too much, so I don't want it too gathered in. So I think I'll put one right here in this seam and go back to my where it was getting placed. I'll keep it uniform. Okay, now we're back to this ribbing and let's go ahead and work four single crochets. Do the best you can working underneath the two loops. This one's tight. Come on. Go. Okay. Chain one and turn. So we've we've gathered in the little back part of the hat. So you can see that. Now we want to go ahead and work one single crochet into each of the single crochets that we just did. Now we want to single crochet our chain 50. We really want our little tassels to be able to tie. So if you can work 50 chains, So 50 chains is about 11 inches. So if you don't want to count, do about 11 or 12 inches of length. I'm going to do a yarn over slip stitch or half double slip stitch. Just working underneath the top loop of each chain. I'm going to work this all the way back to the hat and then we will single crochet around the back again and do the same thing on the other side. And then we're done. Okay, so here I am back at the base of the hat. Here's my little one tie is done. That goes in there. Now I'm going to work single crochet into each stitch around the back of the hat here, the bottom. And then I will chain and work out 50 chains and then work the yarn over slip stitch into those chains and come back and then we're done. So I have worked those slip stitches all the way back down and all I'm going to do is 
just slip stitch to that very first single crochet and tie off. And I've got some ends to weave in. But other than that, our little bonnet is done. Oh, one last thing. I mean, I guess you could leave it like that if you like it. But I am also going to be turning it inside out. And there we go. I'm going to have the have it be kind of flat on the back there. But it's totally up to you. If you think that this looks a little bit better, do this one. Or if you don't like the look of this at all, take your needle and just sew this up. You could do that too. So, always so flexible. Here it is in the cream, and I cannot wait to get her little precious newborn pictures. So this is definitely for a newborn, and baby Kate had a um, head that was completely average, 14 inch circumference. So this would be your average newborn, but man, their little heads grow really fast. So if you wanted to do this three to six months, I would, you probably need to make this longer, maybe 12 inches, 13 inches. This would be, you know, six, seven inches wide. Oh. So as she grows, I probably will experiment with making her larger sizes because I just love the look of this. It's so cute. She looked adorable in it. I cannot wait to show you guys the pictures. But by the time I get this video edited, they will be, I'll just add them on right after. So thank you so much for coming by. And I hope you have success making your baby bonnets. All right, we'll see you.